Uh, why is this conversation going on, uh, on around um, Candace Owens? And it's because she has been banned from Australia. failure. You're trending Australia. You're banned from Australia. Your visa's being banned. Do you want to comment? I mean, literally, it was unbelievable. Before I play this, Joey, if you were to kind of nutshell your understanding as to why she was banned, like what, what we've heard in the media, because she says something here that sounds a bit different. Why, why would you think that she's banned? Um, look, I'm not going to try and quote it because I don't have it to hand, but no, um, no. my, my understanding was that they, they banned her because of, uh, there would there'd be a, essentially a negative, um, effect on, on social cohesion. Yeah. And they used examples like, um, anti-Semitism was one of the words they used. Mm. Now, I want you, this is not standing up for Candace Owens, obviously, but have a listen to what she says she was banned for, and it might surprise you from her perspective what she thinks she was banned for, Chewie, because what she's going to say she was banned for is sort of something from our side. Have a listen. What you are seeing really take shape is that people don't want me to get in front of an audience, uh, They and the audience understands. That might be true. Fair enough. But and what the reason is. We all know what actually happened in Australia. Uh, what happened in Australia is really kind of has been in the story, the story of this year, me and this year, which is that I am not comfortable with the amount of death that is taking place in Palestine. So she thinks that she's been banned right. because she's pro-Palestinian. Now, <laughs> must, but, but Chewy, this is where this thing becomes insidious. Many of us who have been pro-peace in the Middle East pro-innocent victims in Palestine have been labelled anti-Semitic, right? That has happened to most people who have said mm -hmm. that. Now, what she's doing is she's saying, because I'm pro-Palestinian, they're calling me anti-Semitic. Now, <laughs> there's a few other things <laughs> that people could probably point to about anti-Semitism, but she's almost using the position of those on the left that get called something for standing up for the civilians in Gaza. It's, I just thought it was interesting when I heard it. This is a short, so there's only 30 seconds. We'll get to the end of it. I've made my bed. I've chosen to lie in it. Uh, okay, Candace, you're going to lose your job. Okay, check. I accept that. Oh, we're, we'll take away your YouTube channel. They did that. You know, the, the Zionist group or whatever it was called on X said, let's lead the charge and mass report and get her demonetized on YouTube. I said, okay. I accept that because once again, I'm not a person who can be bought for money. I said what I said, and I said it 10 toes down. I am not comfortable with the amount of death that is in Gaza. So people in the chat, she has a point. Yeah, we know she's got a fucking point. We've been saying this for over a year about the death in Gaza, but is she cosplaying that now with an underlying vibe of, so is she, is she basically pro Palestine? because she wants nothing right. but bad things to happen to Israel. You know, so she, is, is that a position of the anti-Semitic is they want, they want Hamas and we don't want Hamas, but they want Hamas to win or they want the Palestinian um, cause to be taken over by them so they can make it look like they're mainstreamed. Yeah. Uh, it, it's her hatred for, for Jews ultimately is driving her position. It, it is co consistent throughout her statements um it, it it is overriding everything and she she sees an opportunity to use gaza to point at the jewish people and go mm -hmm. see yeah. they're all monsters now even me as fervent as i am about what an absolute goddamn stain on the planet israel's actions towards gaza are i do not ascribe that to the entire jewish faith of course of Jewish people. I ascribe it completely to the leadership of Israel and the, the fact that it's Zionism. Okay, now, Hal, can okay. we just make this clear? I, I don't think we ascribe it to any part of the Jewish faith. Like you said, every, any, every part, of, it's like to no part of the Jewish faith. This is from mm -hmm. Israelis, the Israeli government and the Israeli defense force. There's actually no part of, of, Religious of the Jewish religion. Exactly what we were talking about. Yeah. No part of it. And and the word I wrote down, which I was trying to find about uh, with Candace Owens, she's co-opting. She's co-opting the cause for peace in the Middle East. And she's co-opting the cause of, you know, how, how dare they be. It's, it's like 50,000 civilians now. 
but she's co-opting it for nefarious reasons. That's what it feels like. And just so, it, just so you're clear, the Australian Immigration Minister, Tony Burke, said the country's national interest would be best served with Owens somewhere else, as she could, quote, incite discord in almost every direction. That was from the Australian right. government. Go, Joy. Yeah, and, and they also list from downplaying the impact of the Holocaust with comments about um, Nazi doctor Joseph Meningli to claims that Muslims started slavery. Candace Owens has the capacity to incite discord in almost every direction. Yeah. So that that's why they denied it. And that's fair enough. And I'm sitting here going, where the fuck is our immigration minister?